Hey, good evening. My name is Joan Curry. And I had no intention of doing anything but listening tonight. Something you said uh, prompted me to get in line. Excuse me. I represent the dinosaur. We're the aging parents. We're the pioneers of Bill 82 and keep your disabled kids at home. Every step of the way, we have had to fight for services for our children. And we're still fighting. My son is 44 years old. He's a hemiplegic and a partial quadriplegic. We get three hours of support. Three hours. Somebody comes in and helps him shower two days a week. I am only one of many, many, many aging parents. We're tired. We can't do this much longer. And if we have to get on a bus and go to Queen's Park, this provincial government is going to keep its promises. We have been waiting for over 40 years. We have been assessed, reassessed, organized, reorganized, and now they're going to reform us? What the hell did we do wrong that we have to be reformed? What did we do? We kept our children at home. We looked after them. <clears throat> we saved this province billions of dollars that they have never had to pay out. And we're mad about it, and we're tired. We're really tired. And we are not going to take it anymore. And you can tell Mr. Dalton that as parents, we will track him down. In our scooters, on our crutches, we'll get to him. And Mr. McGinty. We're tired. We're tired of promises. One question I have of that commission is, when the hell are we going to get some service? We have been on a waiting list for 15 years. 15 years on a waiting list. If that was a contract that we had with a company, we could sue them. What do we do when it's the province and they keep changing governments and they keep changing plans? It wasn't as bad when, when my husband was working and our husbands were working and they had medical plans through their companies. We don't have that anymore. We don't have that anymore. ODSP is a joke. You get it once, that's it. That's it. What are we supposed to do? Can you tell me? <laughs>